So to add a Panasonic camera to the TriCaster interface, on the input monitor, we can click on the little gear icon to open the input configuration window. And in the advanced edition, we have a PTZ, PTZ interface there, where we can activate the PTZ and select whether we're going to be using the Panasonic Ethernet or RS-422. If we choose Ethernet, we then just type in the IP address here and click close and the video will come in on that input. If we were to select the Panasonic RS-422, then we add, have to enter which COM port, which is normally one, I think. So the, the setting should be default. Just going to change it back to Ethernet there. Once we've enabled that, down the bottom here, under the PTZ tab, we then have on camera one, we have eight uh, preset banks. Uh, so on preset one, I can click on the gear icon and I can use my mouse. If I hold the mouse button down, I can move left or right inside this preset. And when I move the preset, the camera will move with it. Also in this preset, I have control for the white balance, which is a global setting, and the focus and iris setting are local just to this preset. I can then click update snapshot to update the preset with the image that it currently sees. So I have eight presets and I can come to preset number two, set it up slightly different, update the snapshot and close it. And then I just need to click left click between the two to switch between those presets. In terms of bringing in the IP stream, uh, we have on the TriCaster two network inputs, Net1 and Net2. So on network input 1, we can click on the drop down arrow and we get a list of things we can connect to this input. And one of these would be the Add Panasonic Camera. We can click on that, a name for reference and the IP address of the camera. Click done. And then we see here we have automatically brought in the IP stream from the Panasonic camera. In terms of controlling the camera from the control surface, if we hold down shift, we can use the ME delegate to control which to choose which camera we want to control. So I can press camera one and if I hold down shift I can now use a joystick to move the camera and I can twist the joystick to zoom in and twist it the other way to zoom out. So I could press shift two on the delegate and now I'll be controlling camera two which has come up on our preview window at the top. So one way to access the presets we already have, so these are presets 1 to 8 on camera 1, I could hold down control live set 1 and that's me accessing the 8 camera presets that I would have already set up earlier.